Kerana macam tadi kita cakap Patutnya kita mula-mula ingat Kita nak shoot 6 bulan je Then after a while Jadi Jadilah 2 tahun, 2 tahun lebih Pasal kita nak dapat footage Kita nak pergi interview orang Nanti bila awak tengok episode 2 ni Okay lah, saya bagi teaser sikit Ada artis-artis daripada Thailand uh, Saya rasa production team Travel to Bangkok to meet some artists In Bangkok, tanya dia orang In pasal cerita pasal saya ada sampai ke Singapura berjumpa kawan-kawan kita dekat sana so also footage tu macam you know nanti kita akan nampak lihat footage daripada AJL footage daripada konsert solo saya semua yang kita nak uh, masukkan dalam dalam dokumentari ni lah also kenapa mengambil masa yang lebih lama adalah kita tak nak rush benda tu kita nak benda yang betul-betul terbaik lah even kalau dari segi animation tu we just want to make sure that everything looks good, everything sounds good and we and kita nak make sure yang kita piece kan puzzle tu betul dengan cara betul pasal ramai orang footage memang berpuluh-puluh jam punya footage you know? and kita dah boleh pilih Dua jam je yang terbaik you know, kita So lebih baik I think more is It's safer to have more Than you know Than is Don't have enough footage You know that yeah. But Once you question Like I'm really happy That the documentary is out I know like The team has been working Really hard You know And saya harap Documentary ni dapat Memberi inspirasi lah Kepada Orang di luar sana Macam tu cakap Story time tu pula bagaimana Macam tadi kata footage boleh jajar tapi boleh pilih dua jam yang terbaik Bagaimana untuk memilih storyline tu? Itu semua um, Bani, Bani Chua, director Saya pun Saya pun kagum dengan cara dia um, Mengaitkan you know, Atau menyusun semua cerita dalam dokumentari ni Mungkin Dia memerlukan perspektif orang luar kan? To look from the outside in I said, if anyone of my anybody from my internal team yang direct, kalau saya sendiri sekali pun yang direct ini saya rasa tidak akan sebagus ini, kerana kita, you know, kerana mereka lihat benda tu daripada sudut pandangan yang lain. Ah, there you go, itu dia tuan direct. Jadi, you know, all all um, all the credit must go to. Bani and his team for, for for seeing the the path of the you know of how we're going to tell the story. Thank you. 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 Kadang-kadang bilik tu penuh dengan 20 orang Dengan songman lah, dengan lighting, dengan itu ini Kadang-kadang dia seorang je Dengan saya Dan saya selalu ingat bilik saya dengan dia dua orang Yang Kamera tu tak Tak on kan? Tapi sebenarnya So bila saya berbual dengan dia dah setengah jam tu Saya akan tanya dia, oh when are we recording? When are we shooting? Tak tahu juga, the camera has been on for the last one hour So banyak Yang saya ni jawapan-jawapan tu saya pun tak tahu yang kamera tengah mana, kan? Um, I think yeah you you will catch me because I have to reminisce, I have to pikir balik what happened, what happened, how was it when I was in school, how was it when I was? Um, eh bagi saya tak ada momen yang susah sangat untuk saya jawab lah kerana benda tu saya rasa fans di luar sana dah tahu dah yang lebih kurang cerita tu macam ni cuma kita bagi dalam lebih terperinci sikit lah macam tu tadi kat dalam tadi kata biar degil nakal jangan jahat saya so, macam rasa. mana kedegilan Joe untuk menjelas suara rapper tu oh kedegilan saya umur 15 saya tak tahu saya nak jadi rapper dan Saya pun susah nak cakap apa occupation yang mungkin kalau
seorang muda 15 tahun cakap sekarang mungkin macam nak kalau seorang anak muda umur 15 yang cakap dengan parents dia I want to be a magician umur 15 tahun mesti orang macam ha? but when you see the magic then you believe you get what I mean so for me it was like that like everybody early when when they when I told people like at 16 17 I'm going to be a rapper but I still went to college I still you know I still did pretty good in college you know I got my I got my scroll and you know I had if if anything I knew I had you know my education to fall back on ini saya masih tu bersedia untuk kerja dalam bidang saya belajar advertising and broadcasting ni pun ada pun adalah kena mengenai sikit dengan saya belajar dulu apa tapi sifu dan ada profesor yang buat benda tu but macam dulu pun bila kita cakap oh what do you want to be? I want to be a rapper and people mungkin dia akan gelap but when I rap everybody will go and shut, shut up they like oh macam orang kalau orang tu cakap oh I want to be a football player dan kalau you kadang-kadang mekanisme kita untuk menjaga hak menjaga masa depan orang kita sayang tu kita cakap eh janganlah jadi play bola jadi tak doktor tapi kalau budak tu main bola macam Arif Ahmad fu straight away you guys eh ni ni aku boleh call ni you got to play you play, got to play let's go to JDT let's go You get me. So for me, it was that like we observe whenever I told people like you know about crazy dreams, we just observe them. We take note. Okay, this guy believes in me. This guy doesn't believe in me. But at the end of the day, it's the your work that does the talking. Can, can. We did that in our lagu, which Allah Bilah. What you gonna say? Like. When the whole country is singing your song, then then they're gonna say like, ah, you look up to him. So it's like that. So for me, yeah. Because 20 years from now, I want people, I want to know that at least I've I've said my piece. Can, can my band can. Saya tak nak macam lagi 50 tahun, 30 tahun baru nak buat dokumentari pasal saya dulu dah. Mungkin okay. para orang masih relevan tapi bila dah tak relevan atau orang ingat shock sendiri. But at the end of the day, this is just like an extension of my work. Ini merupakan perjalanan cerita saya yang datang daripada mulut saya sendiri. Faham tak? Jadi naratif tu saya yang set. Kan? So, kadang-kadang kalau uh, mau baca tentang seseorang tu mungkin dia datang daripada letter party like for instance these stories that are going to come up in you know tomorrow or in a while you know it's, it's coming from letter party which there's nothing wrong with that but that is a form of media kan macam media masa atau media you know radio atau TV tapi ni adalah produksi kita sendiri macam album tu jadi kalau saya nyanyi featuring untuk lagu orang tu lagu orang tu tapi kalau saya tulis lagu tu, saya record lagu tu saya terbitkan lagu tu, saya print lagu tu so for, for us it's like hey, this is our and also to kind of like set the standard to inspire other artists to do it you know like, let's be real like how many documentaries have you seen semua dokumentari yang awak tengok pasal artis-artis Malaysia Kebanyakannya orang lain buat selepas artis tu telah meninggal dunia Saya tak nak cerita saya diceritakan oleh orang lain Saya dah tak boleh nak call dia nak edit balik Benda tu <laughs> Takkan nak datang dalam mimpi Kacau orang tu macam tu Eh kau tak edit tu <laughs> no. So for me that's that also You know I feel like Tak ada salah untuk kita menceritakan perjalanan seni saya Kerana a big part of my journey also involves many other people. Like I'm, I cannot be here without Nico or KLU or Crash Course or Nautilus Maximus or like I used to be a big fan and I'm still a big fan of these are the people that really inspire me to be a rapper. Kan? Saya rasa 
Kalau yang tanya Dato' Norman pun Mungkin orang oh, cakap Bila dia bagi tahu parents dia Dia nak jadi rapper pun We see what we do But they have supported parents So you will find like Similarities in all their stories You know with mine You know Like A supportive mother Supportive uncles You know This were like my backbone Masa dulu tu Kan sebelum kita kenal Siapa dalam industri Sebelum kita kenal radio DJ Atau DJ kat club Atau Sebelum kita ada lagu pun Kita dah ada Niat Untuk You know Dan lepas tu bila kita start masuk Kita ada daya Niat Daya saing tu memang Saya memang Competitive Saya masih ingat lagi Kalau kita buat show Kita punya goal is to Just have the best show Regardless who's performing Tak kisahlah Artis veteran ke Artis yang dah ada 20 album ke Kita tahu kita nak Try tapak pun Kan Kalau kita opening act pun Sometimes we do the show so good That the main act Lepas tu cakap Eh Kenapa lu apa awal sangat kan Kau tak buat dancer Kau suam yang nanti Siapa suruh lu nanti suam Kita datang dengan DJ Dengan dancer Dengan tu Dengan fans kita Kita make sure Yang diri menang Atau suam You know So it's like We really fought For our place In this industry Right And The only reason We are here today Is because The same people Yang support kita 20 tahun lepas Masih bersama dengan kami dan multiply Meaning Kalau dia orang ada anak-anak Anak-anak dia orang pun suka hip hop Anak-anak dia orang pun Appreciate music Malaysia Bagi saya is bigger than just hip hop lah Bagi saya dia macam perjalanan Seorang anak seni dalam You know the I wouldn't say underground but like Agak Alternative independent Ni rap kan Contoh Jom You said you want your story to be told while you are still alive. Do I want to tell it myself. <laughs> yeah. Do you think this can be developed into a book or a biography of some sort? I mean, yeah. Why not? You know, like into a movie. Oh, uh, that would be a great. Maybe that's next. You never know. Um, but what what's important is like. I think it's also. Benda ni macam Kita buat semua benda kita buat untuk peminat Jadi kalau kita buat lagu, of course Saya buat lagu kerana saya suka buat lagu Saya suka nyanyi Tapi saya suka menghiburkan orang juga So, saya harap Dokumentari ni Bukan saja berbentuk Informatif Tetapi juga sebagai satu hiburan Kita you know, bila awak Balik kerja, penat Buka TV Saya ingin compete dengan Show-show lain yang ada kat TV awak tu Saya nak curi awak punya 2 jam hidup awak Kan? So if you give me 2 hours of your life I feel like within these 2 hours We try to tell you as much as we can About myself, about my journey To you Jo, kita tengok Di situ orang ni, Pak Wan banyak Tiket to start to your scene Of course Okay, so instead of This is your hotel company Untuk di tayang ke kepada kejap-kejap Ada tak specific? Individu ataupun kumpulan yang Joe sendiri nak tunjukkan? Tak juga Bagi saya, kalau orang di luar sana nak tengok Mereka boleh tengok um, But this is This is this is my version of the story You get what I mean? And yeah, I guess Saya harap orang-orang yang terlibat dengan saya semua tengok Benda ni You know, orang-orang yang Yang kita sebut dalam banyak dalam dokumentari ini saya juga harap But also A bikin sampai jadi punya Hashtag tu Sebenarnya saya nak Kita selalu nak meraihkan kejayaan Tapi kita selalu nak Melupakan kegagalan Bagi saya there's no such thing as Losing It's either you win or you learn You don't really lose But it's perspective eh? So macam bagi saya penting untuk saya ceritakan bagaimana Saya berada bila saya jatuh Bila saya kat bawah dan Kalau awak tengok episod tu pun nanti awak akan lihat lagi Kegagalan lagi Kegagalan dari segi lain Kegagalan dari segi mungkin 
you know, bukan semua, not everything is a bed of roses and bukannya semua benda kita dapat dengan cara mudah kan, gagal kita cuba lagi, gagal cuba lagi macam radio tak nak main lagu, orang oh, tak tahu cerita-cerita ni so benda tu saya, saya nak tunjukkan dalam dalam dokumentari ni Ya, saya tetap berkongsi itu Fat dan sebagainya yang datang tu tadi lah kan Kita dapat lihat emosi banyak bercerita, Kawan-kawan Joe telah bercerita tentang Kepisahan Joe dan juga Ranji kan hmm. Bagaimana Joe sendiri nak bercerita Mengenai kan tu adakah emosi Tak tu kan? Uh, ya, of course Kadang-kadang, of course kita Setengah benda kita cerita, kita happy Macam, eh, masa kita pergi ke Malaysia first time Eh, happy, happy, ingat balik Dan of course, bila Benda yang macam tak berapa best Of course, kita akan bilang tapi yang penting tak ada Yang penting dia tak ada niat Iri hati atau niat Macam atas perasaan dendam Bagi saya itu yang paling penting So kerana itu kita mudah Untuk berbual tentang benda itu It's just Retelling you know, a, you know, a story you know, telling, telling, telling a story to people yang tak pernah dengar cerita itu dan of course kadang-kadang saya dapat soalan-soalan yang susah daripada director Saya pun macam, oh kena Kena take a minute to compose myself, compose my thoughts But, no I feel like I'm okay Saya, saya senang berbual jujur, betul-betul jujur I feel like no, I know because I know the answer to whatever if what you were suggesting. The answer will be no also, so I would have got that. But so that was a job by someone. I might be to watch out of one. And I respect it. You know, I have to respect his position to not want to be in the slime line anymore. So why would I disrespect him by saying the long name? You know, he, we've already established that long time ago that he doesn't want to be at the line. But anyway, this is not his story, this is my story. He's part of my story, definitely. But so is my mom, so is my late dad. And so it's one aspect, one element. Yeah. We watch episode two, we move on to other things. We move on to different gym and different people. Ultimate, so now one Ramai dia kan Saya tak call ultimate pun nak Tanya dia boleh tak saya buat dokumentari macam ni Tapi dia ada saya sebut dalam dokumentari saya So Doesn't mean I don't wish you were here watching it But It is what it is Untuk part tu, konsep dokumentari tu macam mana nanti? Dia sambung lah, dia sambung So okay, now we establish that to fact that so what do I do? Do I quit? I think you guys know the answer. But you guys might not know that I might have wanted to quit. I might have what did I do to get re inspired? A lot of people don't know I left the country. I was in Thailand. I became a student again. You know, I met more people. I I I wanted to learn more about, you know international networking and how do I okay maybe Malaysia is major but what do I do outside the country to to go to the country 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 to go to I spent more than a year ago. I spent six months traveling 15 countries like 40 cities to get inspired to do have our album, you know. So all this I will tell sleep, you know, in in episode two. Yeah. It basically up in the check out yeah. Don't give up. Keep it up. <laughs> so, <coughs> so towards the end of part one, uh when you were describing about uh, the breakup, you mm. said uh you lonely. were lonely. Yeah. Were you as heartbroken as when you were kicked out from the football team? 
No. No. Uh, no. I mean, I was. Look, I was a mediocre footballer. Saya pun memang pemain simpanan pun. So, saya cuma lebih sukakan the camaraderie. Macam pergi sekolah lain, pergi main bola. Walaupun saya duduk bagus simpanan. Daripada saya main simpanan, daripada saya dah tiga sampai saya form five tu saya simpanan. Saya tak pernah jadi star pun. Tapi yang ni saya star. <laughs> kan? So, of course, I'm more happy than that. No. I mean, football was... Football is still is a big part of my life but now I you know in the role of of a rapper of a, you know there's I'm the 12th man you know like you know whatever I do for you know down south in Jinjo like you know I'm not a footballer uh, but yeah yeah I'm, I'm glad it's quite I'm glad you catch you caught that I was very sad actually I was so sad until the point when bila dia orang pergi main game saya tak saya dah bukan team ni pun saya pergi juga naik bas tu macam cikgu macam ha. my teammates seludup saya naik bas bawa pergi game walaupun saya tak ada dalam team so you know uh, yeah what you gonna say to my team watching this uh, what you gonna say to I don't know man how was it Glad you enjoyed it. I don't know. <clears throat> For me, this is also one one way of. of let's be real, huh? Who's who's keeping the two fat name alive? There's only one person, me. Right. So I don't see. I don't see a reason to be mad at that. You know, I'm keeping. At least I'm I'm, I'm still talking about two fat. I don't see anyone else doing it. In from the group. It's my wife. <laughs> okay. So, so, macam tadi waktu ada satu animation macam perpisahan tu fat tu lah kan. Mm. Like, ada animation tu mana di bahagian saya macam jauh ke arah ada satu sembuh kartel. Mm. Satu lagi saya tak pasti mana sebenarnya. Tak ada lah. Dia punya... Saya nak tulis Kamau, saya tak dapat uh, permission untuk pakai logo dia. Jadi saya tulis lah Q or something, sikit lain sikit. Tapi awak faham faham. Kan? Masih ada undang-undang. Kan kita tak tahu masih ikut. The licensing thing. For me, you know what is sunyi? Tak, itu semua tak sunyi. Pasal muzik, muzik. Awak oh, bagi saya kursi ni pun saya boleh ketuk buat beat. Saya panggil Sona, you know we can make beat. Apa yang sunyi ialah bila saya tahu reality dunia hiburan ni. Bila awak tak famous, orang layan awak macam ni. Orang pandang awak macam ni. People used to, people already count me out. Dah discount lah macam. Okay, apa mana ni? Gone lah. Kan? Dan saya tak kisah benda tu Kalau awak nak write me off as a player dalam industri ni Tapi saya masih seorang manusia Kan? You know so when people start Yang dulu ni Punya lah sopan santun dah start macam berbuat kasar Dah start macam pandai orang Oi, oi, look, faham tak? Benda tu macam you see the real side of people Which is actually a blessing in this guys Because I took note Ini macam cerita piramli yang kita X rumah tu orang punya pintu kan Saya X pintu orang tu semua Dan saya tahu Untuk bergerak ke hadapan I don't need a bit, I don't need 10 ribu orang belakang saya Saya perlukan 3 orang ni Yang percaya dengan saya That's it It gave me that hunger to like Prove everybody wrong But What was sad was When you You know the people that you talk with your friends Actually, they were just there for the ride. They were just there because oh, these guys, these guys are number one. These guys are famous. You know, there's, you know, these guys. We go to Indonesia, we meet more famous people, and we're in it. Ah, we're in it, lah, kan? So, bagi saya yang sunyi yang tu lah bila. And of course, when you're in a duo, of course you're gonna miss the other person because it's different. 
Now when you go into a studio, it's a different studio, it's a different sound engineer, and I'm alone. And when I don't know what to do, I don't have my big brother to ask, right? So it's like, I really have to grow up quick. But I feel like, honestly, and, and this one is not really off the documentary. I feel like after that, you know, with the things that happened, I'm really happy that I, I don't feel like it affected us, our friendship, or our love for each other. Because after that, I continued doing things for him outside of music that only a real friend would do. And I've been there. I've done that. You know, and I will still continue to do so. So Sometimes it's bigger than just music and your career. You know, like real friendships, like go a long way. Like when you say, I don't want to talk to you. Right? But to answer your question, for me, it was like, it was tough when you... That's why I don't really have a lot of friends from the industry. I don't. Saya tak berkawan dengan penyanyi, saya tak berkawan dengan actress. Karena saya jumpa actress yang paling famous pun, saya tanya dia kerja apa. Kau kerja apa eh? Manager dia macam. Uh, saya so, yang, sorry. Like, I'm not here to... I'm here to work. Like, I know. So now, like my friends, are they still the same friends from Raja Satu? Kan? Okay, from one, from two. Saya lebih senang berkawan dengan macam budak-budak bola, budak-budak budak-budak subang. Saya balik, saya pergi. Saya balik subang. Saya minum dekat tepi gerai, dekat mana-mana pun. Tak ada orang kata saya. You know, and I think it gave me that. It really taught me like, eh hey, man, sometimes, and not just for music industry and for a lot of industries. I feel like when you're down and out, then you, you find, you you. You meet your real friends, yeah. Then also, I learned that actually to achieve things in in life or to be successful, you you don't need to be friends with everyone, but you must respect everyone and you must be able to work with everyone. Itu tu, kan? Dan tipu lah kalau saya cakap semua kita dalam bilik ni best friend, kan? Tapi bila kita jumpa di acara-acara industri, you know, we work together. We respect each other's profession, and you know we help each other. You know achieve whatever we need to achieve. So it's just that it 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 taught me I had to grow up lah really good, and say like macam terbangun daripada mimpi angangan to the hard realities of life, which is fine, and it it helped make me a better rapper. I feel after that my music became. I'm not saying that my music before that was different, but after that, I think it became more. And of course, your solo, eh? so you you get to tell tell a story from your point of view. But after that, I felt like okay, I needed to go out there. I needed to. So I guess it's like I'm kind of berjalan lagi. Kita kena tengok dunia ni lebih. Dan dalam saya melihat keluar. Spirituality saya tu, spiritually pun saya lebih melihat ke dalam. Dan saya lebih, you know that, I took that, that journey, kan, without trying to sound too biased, but yeah, I feel it, that was very important to take that spiritual journey dan faham, you know, mengenali diri lebih. So some clues, some doors were close to you lah. Bila after the split. Yeah. Some doors bukan aja kau close. Yeah, definitely. Some doors were close. Were they close? Yeah, I would say so. I would think so. Um, like the same award shows don't call you anymore. You know what I mean? Like. This TV stations don't call you anymore, radio station, but it's just business. I, I realize that too. Hey, it's just business. If you off, kalau dalam bola, the perumpamaan dia, you kalau you striker, you are you are only as good as the last goal you score. You striker hebat macam mana pun, kalau tiga puluh game main bola tak score, 
Yo, right? As an artist, you're only as good as your last hit, which is fine. I like making hits, so. But, but it's okay. I, I, but it also taught me that, eh, kalau lagu tu tak hit pun tak Because I've been there. I can't go any worse than that. Then you want suka, then you want tak benci. Tu je. Okay? So for us now, like, we have songs like, Temasik, 16 weeks number one. <coughs> right? And then we have songs like Sunyi, Nombor 13. So. I just chat it all that. But it's fine, I'm okay with that because Bila berkarya ni saya rasa penting untuk Yang pertama sekali kita uh, Memenuhi Kita punya Kehendak kreatif kita sendiri sebagai, sebagai karyawan And also after that, you know, you, you You hope that you can share that with your fans uh. โอเคแล้วครับจูปัตตุยดาติงอ่ะปัตตุยดาติงอ่ะคือจูมุกินอ่าลาสเควชชั่นมีหัดอ่าจัลลันชีตฮิดุยูยังดิบันตังกันมี